We've just picked up the new Apple M4 Pro and M4 Max, Mac Mini and MacBook Pro. And this year it's going to be a big update for not only now, but into the future. So let's crack these boxes open and tell you all about them. Hello everyone, my name is Mike and here at Sabrent we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. So here I have the MacBook Pro with the M4 Max chip, which has 16 core CPU and a 40 core GPU. Then I've also picked up the M4 chip Mac Mini, which has a 12 core CPU and a 12, 16 core GPU. Both machines feature something I am super excited about, Thunderbolt 5. That's right. The these Macs come with not just one, but three Thunderbolt 5 ports, but you may be wondering why I'm so excited by this. For those who don't know, we announced our all new Sabrent Thunderbolt 5 external SSD in 2TB and 4TB sizes. This was absolutely game changing for power users looking for a portable solution that not only provides all of the speed that you need, but also in a form factor that you can throw in your pocket. The performance has been nothing short of amazing. Not only are the read and write speeds impressive with a Thunderbolt 4 enabled device, but when you plug this into a Thunderbolt 5 port, the speeds are just out of this world. We're seeing read and write speeds of over 6,000 and 5,000 megabytes per second. This is around double the speed of the previous generation SSD drives. However, the issue with Thunderbolt 5 was that it was really new. Like basically no devices supported this technology bar a few computers. However, with Apple's new lineup of Mac minis and MacBook Pros powered by M4 Pro and M4 Max, we should now be seeing these more out in the wild, meaning that more people can enjoy the benefits of Thunderbolt 5. Now, yes, this Mac mini does have a bad placement for the power button. I mean, for me, it's not so bad, but at least the ports are in the right place. I do wish that they did have one Thunderbolt 5 port on the front, just for those quick Thunderbolt card readers and SSDs, but maybe next time, Apple. So let's talk about these ports on these computers because this is a huge leap in performance. On the older Macs, we got Thunderbolt 4, and also on the M4 Mac Mini, we're also getting Thunderbolt 4, which is a fantastic Thunderbolt port, thanks to its stability, security, and speed. At up to 40 gigabits per second, this is extremely fast and the capabilities with things like our Thunderbolt 4 docks, readers and KVMs are incredible. But when you go ahead and pick up an M4 Pro or M4 Max, well, this comes with Thunderbolt 5 and we see these numbers jump at up to 120 gigabits per second. It also comes with a number of improvements such as expanded display options going to three 6K displays instead of just two. This is actually better than the standard M4 that I spoke about earlier, which supports native DisplayPort 1.4 over USB-C compared to the M4 Pro and M4 Max that has native DisplayPort 2.1 output over USB-C. And just to let you know that all of your favorite Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 devices should work great with this port too, meaning that there's no need to get rid of your current devices. So if you've got a great Thunderbolt device that you're not quite ready to let go, well, you don't need to thanks to the new MacBooks and Mac Minis because the Thunderbolt 5 port on that supports those absolutely no problem. Now, just for those interested, we will be doing a separate video displaying the speeds of our our drive, our Thunderbolt 5 drive on both these new Macs, so the Mac Mini and the new MacBook Pro. So stay subscribed if you're interested in seeing that. But not only does Thunderbolt 5 allow you to connect up all of your older Thunderbolt devices, but it supports USB 4 as well. So things like our USB 4 travel hub and Thunderbolt 4 docking station work great just as well as each other. So a few devices that I think you should consider picking up when you're going for either the Mac Mini or the MacBook Pro is firstly our USB 4 Travel Hub. This is a fantastic travel hub that offers all of the ports that you could ever need in a compact form factor. Also, why upgrade the memory on these devices when you can pick up an external Thunderbolt drive from Sabrent for a fraction of the cost? 
We offer them in several different sizes. And as I mentioned before, we are offering a brand new Thunderbolt 5 external drive coming soon. And you can pre-order them today, which I will have a link down in the description below for you to go ahead and have a look at. And for those of you who have got a Windows and a Mac machine and need an easy way to switch between the two with your peripherals, well, make sure to pick up our Thunderbolt 4 KVM because this thing is packed full of features, works fantastically with both systems and allows you to switch seamlessly between both systems with just a press of a button. We have videos on this channel regarding all of our Thunderbolt devices and USB 4 devices. So make sure to check out the channel for more information on these products. So if you've picked up any one of these devices, then leave a comment down below on what your favorite upgrade of these new computers are and also what favorite Sabrin accessory have you paired up with it? But anyway, that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.